Welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing another video of strand test and today we will be doing mahogany henna hair dye. Now we already mixed mahogany color and left it out for 8 to 10 hours. If you'd like to see how to mix mahogany, please click on the link down below. Come on and let's get started. Alright, so we are going to start with light brown, applying the mahogany color in here. So this was left out for 8 to 10 hours. All right, so we are going to apply to our dark brown. Again, it's not too dark, but it comes in the dark brown family. Usually on the dark brown, you, don't, you won't be able to see as much difference, but red tones you should be able to see in the sunlight. Our third color is the Plantinium Blonde. This is always my favorite to see the results, how they come out. I feel like this one and the bleached here is more accurate for any lighter color here. Then again, it does tend to come out a little bit lighter. You may, may not, but um, if you feel like it's light, always add another application. Okay, our next one is medium brown with dark brown highlights. Because this has highlights, highlights and it has two color toned hair, so even the end results, you may see the difference as well. All right, we're going to step up to the bleached hair. If you do have bleached hair, keep in mind, um, doing bleach does damage your hair. So you may need to do an application at least twice. The first time always henna repairs any damaged hair and then starts giving you color. Now, obviously you may see it in the first try. If you like it, great. If you don't, you can just do another application. Okay, let's hop on to um, with brown highlights on honey blonde hair. Alright, last we have is the darkest color, dark brown to black. I don't expect to see too much, but we always get surprised. Alright, we are going to leave this on for three hours. I'm going to saran wrap all this, so just imitating as you would use a shower cap, and we'll come back after three hours. All right, so these have been rinsed out after three hours, and we are going to start off showing the results with the brown highlights 
with Honey Blonde. So this was the original right here. And look at this. Look at how the mahogany turned out. I think it's just gorgeous. And like Michaela said, I, it is underrated, one of the underrated colors, mahogany. All right, the next one is bleached here. So this is how the original, and look at this. Look at this, how gorgeous it is. So pretty, so pretty. Now, if you do wanna go darker than this, leave it on for five hours or do another application but i just feel like it still looks so gorgeous so dark brown to black again didn't ex expect anything to do um a really 360 turn on it but you can still see the difference you can still see the dullness of the original hair strand and look at this you can tell the difference love it and the feel too. If not just the color, your hair will love you for it. All right, so light brown. I wasn't really expecting such a gorgeous outcome for light brown. So here is the original light brown and here is how the mahogany it turned up on here. There, see, love it. Now, here's the original dark brown. So, it is not as dark, but you can still see the redness in where um, we applied the mahogany. Now, when you go into the sun, you will definitely have red tones. I wanna try mahogany now. This looks so pretty. All right, so platinum blonde. If you have gray hair, expect it to turn out more towards the red orange but i still love it it's still so pretty so so pretty and last is the medium brown with the dark brown highlights so right here's the original and right here and you can see the mahogany how it turned out so pretty so pretty love it so now you know if you are looking to apply mahogany henna hair dye this is how to be closest to your hair color we hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe for more